Welcome to the last week of March. Things are heating up in the no prep RC drag scene. King of the Streets is on its way. We got GTR bodies that actually have deformations in the hood. We're gonna find out who gets the body of their choice from our giveaway. Talk about a cool little adapter that you definitely need to get for your GNSS. And of course, we're gonna run through all of the stuff here on the Fast on Facebook show. I'm Chad, this is the Dorky N40 RC channel, and we are gonna be fast on Facebook today. Let's go. Well, in case you guys didn't see this video or watch it all the way through, I am sorry about your luck, but I announced a body giveaway in this video. I like to do random things for my subscribers and people that watch videos throughout the end. Maybe I'll put it at the beginning. Maybe I'll put it in the middle. Who knows? That is why you should like and subscribe to the videos. Watch everything because we got a lot more stuff, as you can see behind us, that we are going to be giving away. So what we are going to do is I've got this copied and pasted. We're going to go and paste this into the random YouTube picker. We are filtering out all extra comments of everybody. So we have 78 original comments. I really hope this goes to somebody who is a loyal subscriber to us. And if not, you better be after this, buddy. So let's go ahead and click the button. We've got one winner. Who's it going to be? It is going to be DJ Brady. DJ Brady, get a hold of me to my email in the link in the description below, and we will talk it out and see which body you want, the Firebird body with the wing or the Super body, and we will get that mailed out to you. Now, if you've been in a no prep RC or if you're new, what this thing right here is, is the, the little GNSS. This is the thing that works with your phone, tablet, gives us our speeds, gives us our ET. It's not the gold standard, but it pretty much is what we all use to kind of see and judge how well we are performing with our vehicle. The worst thing about these things is going to test and realizing that it is dead. I used to carry extra batteries with extra connectors to charge this thing up and stuff. Well, no more thanks to this little baby right here. This was provided to the channel from JBRC Racing. He was kind enough to send this to me and to let you guys know about these i don't like to push stuff that i don't believe in but believe me this is something that i can truly get behind 12 bucks shipped to you in the united states any length that you want six eight ten inches you can see exactly what's going on here real simple it's just a plug that's designed to plug into where your battery and the gnss plugs into and then you just plug it into your receiver and it is going to keep your gns powered and charged you can see on the picture right here all you're going to have to do is just take the case apart put a little hole in the case, run the wire through, disconnect the battery and plug that in, and you are going to be good to go. While we're doing the mods on the breakout chassis, I'm gonna go ahead and do this mod. And the thing that's great about this is that since it's actually permanently installed to the GNSS and you've got your little servo pigtail there on the end, you can put it in any car you want. If you have an X-Max, if you have one of the new sledges that are coming out, any of your NPRC drag cars, you can see how fast you're going, your estimated time, everything else, and you never have to worry about making sure that this thing has a charge and ruining a testing session. So thanks a lot, JBRC. Hopefully you guys go check them out. Let them know that you saw it on the Dorky and 40 RC channel. And if any of you other guys have things like that that you think could benefit the community, drop me a line and let me know. I would be interested in checking them out and spreading the word, help giving back to those that are giving to us. So here we go. Let's talk about the GTR body. I mean, we all are loving it. I did a video on it. I'm still waiting on the paint to show up for mine. I am super excited about that. But if we take a look here, you can see that these hoods are looking a little deformed. Now I've kind of like glanced over my body and it's really hard to see without getting some paint on it. That paint gets here, I'll let you know how things go and we'll take a quick look at it when it's all mounted up and see. You know, is it gonna make a huge difference? Probably not, but the thing is, we pay good money for these bodies. We want these things to be a quality product especially something that's coming from Horizon. Come on, Horizon Hobbies. If you're gonna drop a bomb on us, make sure that the thing is on target. This is kind of unacceptable. 
We want stuff that is made correctly. You were already late in getting the wings to us that we ordered with these things. So the least you can do is try to figure out a way to make this right. I have not seen any information. I have not reached out to Horizon Hobby, but believe me, I probably should send them an email and I will pass that word on to you to see if there is anything that we can do. If you get one, probably before you cut it up and paint it, so that way they can get you a replacement body that is not deformed. Now there's so much going on in the hobby this week when it comes to races that were going on last weekend and the tire thing and just everything else, King of the Streets coming up. So with that coming up guys, definitely if you are like holding off on making a purchase, don't make it yet unless you're really sold on something, wait to see who wins King of the Streets and make sure your PayPal's ready because whoever's running that special motor, body, chassis, whatever, that thing is gonna go like hotcakes the next day or two after the King of the Streets, just like the DRK did last year when it burst to the scene and like seven or eight out of the top 10 people were all running DRKs. So if you're ready to find out what the best people are gonna be running, I think this is gonna be a judge of what some of the most people that are putting in the most practice and time with their products, you might be able to get your hands on. Even though I already have seen examples of people that are breaking the rules by running stuff that is not commonly available to the rest of the people. So I'm sure there's gonna be people running and I'm not just talking about voodoo tires here. I'm talking about, we're gonna be seeing chassis that are out there for not people to be being used. People are probably gonna be running pro line blues. Who knows what else they're gonna be running out there. I'm glad that I'm not part of that whole travesty, but that is just a whole nother thing. It's very hard to get excited about these races and then realize that like your average guy, is going out there to be excited and he's already, in my opinion, gonna be at a disadvantage because he's running like against people who have the newest, hottest stuff that already put in a super duper amount of time. But it's just the way it is. I've ran it about it before, so we'll just stop. Now I have seen a lot of talk this week on people running, trying to just flash different Tekken software to the RX-8 Gen 3s. I am not sure what in the heck is going on with their software that they've got going on with the hot wire. It looks like they might've like introduced a bootloader bug or something like that because people are having problems getting these things flashed. They are flashing with the software and the hot wire is not allowing them to make certain adjustments. So very, very, very unfortunate thing for Tekken because they are trying to get around the fact that if you really wanna go to the top, to the next level in the sport, make that transition from hobbyist to sport hobbyist, like I consider myself, without buying a San Juan M17 or Fatava 7 XPR. They're trying to put all that stuff into the ESC and it looks like things are not going that well. And they also said, if you're gonna be running their latest software, that they're not gonna cover you for a warrant. Jumped onto the Castle Mamba Monster X page over here and I've been seeing a lot and lot of questions from people that are really new and i can only assume that the reason why they're coming to castle right off the bat is that they have probably are coming from like maybe the basher or the crawler world so they're really familiar with castle products but they don't know a thing about drag cars so that's cool that's what we do we try to teach people and that's bring things back to the hobby um but there is a lot of new blood like pouring in i've seen just some crazy posts they're almost like are people really serious asking some of these questions? And uh, the whole thing about it is, is they are. I mean, they are where you and I were about two years ago when we were trying to figure this entire thing out. So it's great to see that new blood in there. If you run a track or a program or you've got new people coming into your community, help them please make them understand that they might not ever be able to get to the top, but they can still have a great time be competitive. If you're running a list race and cash days and you see people start to fall off slowly, switch to bracket racing, try to keep it competitive and everybody in the game, keep your local community races going. We all can't have 40, 50 people showing up every weekend like my buddy Tim out at Red Oak this past weekend. Congrats to the Ohio guys, Heath and Willie for tearing it up and congrats to Tim and Becky for running a good race and Becky being a freaking pro while she had to have gallbladder extracted the next day. 
But yeah, the amount of questions, and it's not just on the Castle group either, it's everywhere. Of course, the RC No Prep Junkies group, which I know is a lot of your guys' favorite groups. So we're still seeing a lot of cross-posting and stuff like that going on, which is cool. I've seen stuff come up that people um, are uh, don't understand that an R1 motor 13.5 actually has a 10.5 in it. So there's been some discussions about that. Just all kinds of new kind of questions that are out there. You know, people looking for wing makers, uh, just, you know, just everything out there when it comes to just the new questions. So it's really good to see. I it's a it's another level of explosion into the hobby. I've seen it with the FPV and stuff like that. Boy, we just got to keep this momentum going for sure. If we want this sport to just really dig in, I still, still figure out we need a way to, we're all here in this outlaw class, but we just got to figure out a way to get these beginners into a class of some kind of rules that keep the cost down and keep them going and coming back to the track. I just don't know how we do it. I really don't. The manufacturers have really let us down trying to outpace each other. More and more of the endless discussion about preps and tire prep and stuff like that. This stuff comes up all over the place, all over the time. And now that we've got that new wave of people that are coming in, they really don't understand a lot about prep and tire prep and everything else like that. So trying to help a lot of people out this weekend. A lot of people emailed me asking me about questions uh, about how to prep tires and stuff. And I pointed them toward a couple of videos that I've seen. Saw so some big bomb battery just drops this weekend. We've seen some uh, from R1. They released their 11,400 milliamp battery. Told you guys that that was coming. I'm sure that there's only going to be larger ones coming. The thing is like 465 or 455 grams. It's hard to believe. That thing weighs almost as much as one of my actual FPV quads without the GoPro on it. So that is pretty insane. So we're just scrolling here through the McLean page. Um, it's been pretty quiet this week. I don't haven't seen a whole lot on here last week. We, you know, there was a lot of people talking and discussing just uh, how disappointed they were that things were kind of blowing up. So things have kind of, uh, looks like they've kind of smoothed out a little bit and back to talking about castle. A lot of people are really pumped on the castle drag motor. I know I am. I've got some little tweaks that I'm going to be making to the five-star chassis in order to shore things up a little bit. I've seen some little cheater things that people are doing to like square up that motor plate and keep that thing nice and stiff. Got the carbon fiber plate, got the aluminum plate. We're going to see which one works out better. Try to control the torque on that monster since that thing literally has almost three and a half times more the amount of stator volume than a normal 540 can. People asking about using different combinations and DR10s, Traxxas, stuff like that. My buddy Rufus, shout out to you, my boy. Shout out to Coach D, Midwest RC, all you guys, Dave down there, Power Mad, tearing it up, waiting on your tire video, Dave, see how your weekend went, looking for that video to come out. All kinds of questions, slipper eliminators. Pretty much any question you can see has been asked on the Facebooks over the past week. And of course, there has been more tire talk as well. People have been really closely examining their serial tires. We've seen a few hits on those things. We haven't seen any like real hardcore data used to coming from the FPV world where people would take stuff and send it out to YouTube reviewers, influencers, whatever you want to call us to test all this stuff out. So that way the day they dropped, we could all give our opinions, reviews, things like that. Don't get to see any of that stuff in this no prep drag RC scene. It's totally different when it comes to YouTube. That's why I'm very appreciative to get things like this because this is how we grow the sport. This is how we grow interest in the hobby. If manufacturers want to make money, unfortunately, they got to pimp out us influencers because we're the ones that are getting the views. People aren't watching online streams with the thousands of views that we have here on the channel for 15 to 20 hours over a weekend. It's just the way it is. So many people asking about that castle motor, probably because I'm on the castle page. We've got a lot more races being announced and being promoted. We've got stuff going on here in DC area. We've got stuff going on here in South Carolina. 
We've got the East Coast RC Nationals going on in North Carolina. The combination of no prep drag full scale with our actual no prep drag cars is just a winning combo. We've actually had stuff going on here in Norwalk locally to us. Hopefully that happens again this year. Last year with COVID, things were kind of knocked down a little bit. Hopefully this year it'll be in full force and they bring everything back. So I think that is going to do it for this week, guys. All kinds of crazy stuff going on. I appreciate every one of you guys out there. Please keep an eye on the channel because we've got, I think, a couple motors that we might be giving away next. We'll see. Maybe something else. We've got Voodoo showing up. We'll definitely be giving away a couple pairs of those when they get here. So make sure you're subbed and all that kind of stuff. Got any questions? Hit me up. Good luck. Have fun testing. And we will talk to you guys later. Peace.